Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to go over the best managed WordPress hosting. So let's dive in. So before we dive into my three picks for the best managed WordPress hosting out there, I wanted to go over what it is real quickly. So managed WordPress hosting is a service where all technical aspects of running WordPress are managed by the host. So this includes things like security, speed, WordPress updates, daily backups, website uptime, and scalability. So there are some more included in other cases, but that is generally what it includes when you think of managed WordPress hosting. So how I've decided on which three are the best, I broke them down into four main categories and I've tested almost 20 different web hosting companies before narrowing it down to these three. There's a lot of people out there that like to cover 10 to 20 different companies and I really just think it's a waste of people's time when they watch videos. So I really just wanted to narrow it down to the three best managed WordPress hosting companies out there. So the four categories I use for my picks are speed, support, cost, and uptime. These are probably the four most important to most people out there, so that's why I went with them. Now there's gonna be affiliate links below, and if you use them, I really appreciate it. It helps me continue to make videos for this channel, but if you don't wanna use them, I totally understand that, and that's fine as well. So let's move on to the actual results here. So right here, we have speed, and you can see first place was WPX Hosting, Green Geeks was second, and SiteGround was third. These are the three that I went with, WPX, Green Geeks, and SiteGround. When we go over to support, we see that WPX was also first there, SiteGround was second, and Green Geeks was third. Now I should say that all of these have great speed, great support. The cost, I'll talk about a little bit more, and the uptime has been great as well. So I picked these three out of 20 other hosts for a reason. They're all awesome options. So if we look at costs over here, we can see that Green Geeks is the most affordable, followed by SiteGround, which is closely behind, and WPX hosting is pretty far and a distant third in terms of cost. Now for uptime, each of these that I'm showing here are actually their uptime guarantee that's on their website. So there's 99.9% .9 for SiteGround for Green Geeks, and then WPX hosting has 99.5%. Now, I've had all three of these hosts for quite a while now, and I've actually had perfect uptime at 100% on all three of them. So I really just use this to gauge and show you that there is a little bit difference in terms of the guarantee that each of them offers on their website. The important thing that I wanted to get across here is that people start in different levels. So you need to choose the best host based on your situation. If you don't have a lot of money and you're just starting out, Something like Green Geeks or SiteGround is going to be a better option. If you're looking for a little bit better support, maybe SiteGround is a better option than Green Geeks, but if you're looking at better costs, Green Geeks might be the better option. In terms of WPX here, I should say that they are the most expensive out of these three, and I wouldn't be truthful if I told you that you need to jump in and use WPX on a brand new website when you're first starting out. In reality, most sites take six months to a year to start getting good traffic to their website. So if you sign up with SiteGround or Green Geeks for one year and then moved over to something like WPX after that year, that might be a good option if you're getting a lot of traffic. Sometimes it might take you longer and you might want to just take advantage of the lower cost that you're going to get with Green Geeks. If you sign up with a three-year deal with them, you're going to get a very affordable plan. The same goes with SiteGround, but the renewals might be higher on these plans. So it really depends on your scenario and what you value. But in my opinion, these are the three best managed WordPress hosting options for regular people out there, especially for people getting started. Green Geeks and SiteGround make a lot of sense to start with them. So to sum things up, I really think that you should just choose the best option for you. Again, if you decide to use one of these, I have an affiliate links in the description of the video, and I really appreciate it if you do. Thanks for taking the time to view this video, and I hope you learned a little bit more about my picks for the best managed WordPress hosting. Thanks for viewing, and have a wonderful day.